Hi, Sid Dobrin here with another Inventive Fishing Gear Review. In this review, I'll be taking a look at Squiddy's Flip Reel. The Flip Reel is a new take on an old concept, the hand line. For those of you who have fished in South Florida, the Flip Reel probably immediately reminds you of the traditional Cuban yo-yo, which is also called a hobo yo-yo in some areas. The Cuban yo-yo is used so by so many in South Florida fishing from bridges and piers, and they've been using them for decades down there. Of course, many of us have seen the same technique used by folks fishing with Coke bottles or pieces of PVC. And you've probably also seen preppers and survivalists talk about these kinds of hand reels as great for survival packs. The Squiddy's flip reel takes this traditional hand line approach and brings it into the 21st century, what Squiddy's calls a renaissance in hand line fishing. The flip reel does have some great features, like this comfortable handle design that gives you great control over the reel. Now anyone who's fished hand lines before recognizes that generally you don't fight the fish with the reel itself, but the comfort of the flip reel lets you use it in such a way that you can fight bigger fish directly onto the reel. This helps reduce possibilities of line cuts on your hands and generally just makes it easier to put pressure on a bigger fish. One of my favorite things about the flip reel is its portability. The reel folds back over itself, making compact and portability top-notch here. It's also designed to let you store a rig inside the well of the reel when it's closed. Squiddy's, of course, makes a couple of rigs for use with the hand line, one small hook rig, one medium hook rig, and a lure rig, but really you can rig the flip reel just about any way you want. The folks over at Squiddy's also tell me that they're going to soon be releasing a bigger version of the reel with heavier line and will also make heavier rigs for the reel. I'm going to want to try one of those as soon as they come out. The current version of the flip reel is loaded with 165 feet of 17 pound mono, which has been more than sufficient for most of the fishing we've done with the reel. The reel also has this neat built-in line cutter, which I found to be really helpful. Now, admittedly, when I head out fishing, I generally don't plan a day of hand lining, so my recommendation about the flip reel isn't for its abilities as a primary piece of tackle. Instead, what I love about the flip reel is its portability. When I was a teenager, my brother and I pulled into the parking lot of this pier one time just to see what was happening. Well, what was happening was a full-on bluefish blitz, and we had absolutely no tackle or gear with us. And I vowed at that moment that I'd never go anywhere without a rod and reel again, and I put a travel rod and a small tackle box in my car just in case such events ever presented themselves again. And of course, over the years, that travel rod broke, I raided the tackle box when I needed something, and inevitably I found myself in that situation in which I really wished I had an outfit with me, but didn't. And I'm guessing most of you have had a similar experience as well. Squiddy's flip reel is my new answer to my desire to never be without fishing equipment. Its size, its durability, and packability make it ideal for keeping one or two in the truck. They're also small enough to toss one in my backpack no matter where I'm trekking. And to be honest, it's really fun to catch fish with these things. It takes the pressure of the fight off the rod and reel and puts it in your hand, creating a more personal, more connected experience. So here's to the renaissance. Be sure to check out Squiddy's flip reels and be sure to check out our other gear reviews and resources at inventivefishing.com. Fish on. Can't.